This is a quick video in Adobe Illustrator. I had uh, somebody call me up the other day talking about how to offset the path and, and how to create a bleed zone and work without a bleed zone, especially in these Euro oval type d designs like this one here. You've got the oval going around it, and if you had a cut line right on the edge right there and it was slightly off, you would see it right away and it would be very noticeable because you'd have a little white area on one side and less black on the other. Now, oval shapes are one of the hardest shapes for any printer cutter or any straight cutter to, to run simply because it's moving in all of its axes at the same time. So it's, it's easy for these ones to get slightly off. Um, one trick is to add more bleed to it. And on the second one here, uh, you can see we've got this oval and they've got a bleed zone set up. So if I take that off, you can see the bleed goes away. But the problem is with these is even with the bleed in there and the black on the edge, you're getting a heavy saturation of ink on the edge, so the media might tend to curl a little bit, making it harder to work with for the end user. Um, and then the other thing that can happen is if it's slightly off, even though you have a bleed zone, you might see, we'll take that bleed off again, you might see it thinner on one side and thicker on the other. And it gives kind of a visual effect that the customer can pick up on. Well, what I advocate is actually contouring out from the design so that you have a white area around that black area, your cut line's not going right on the edge of it, so that now the customer's not going to see the white area as much as they are the black. The black draws their eyes to it, so if that's slightly off, they see it. Whereas if we have a white border around it, they're still seeing that black area, everything looks nice, and if the white area is maybe a sixteenth of an inch or so off, they'll never notice it. So let's take this design here, we'll make a cut line around it, and then we'll offset the path to show you what I mean by this. Take the layer here, and as I've done in Illustrator before in some of my previous videos, we'll make a copy by dragging it down to there. And then I'll lock the first one. I don't want anything to be done with it. We'll leave that alone. And we'll select all on this. I can use Control A, or I could go to Edit, Select All, and everything. But Control A gets me everything there. Now, everything's right to the edge. I don't need to, to change any of the paths or anything like that, as I've done in some of the previous videos. And I can simply take this and go over to my Pathfinder, and what unite or weld them all together. So now it's one shape. I don't need any fill on this, so I'll come over to my fill here and we're, we're going to remove that. We'll hit our swatch for no fill. And I can even remove the, the eye here so I'm not seeing what's below it. And then we'll go to our outline and I've got my roll inverse works palette open, so I'll click on that there. And now I've got my cut path going around it. One important thing to know about the cut path and check on there, you can have a one point or whatever you want on there. Take a look at your stroke. I've had a few people recently that have had some problems with it. You want your stroke right here, a line stroke, to center. If you've got it on to the inside or to the outside, it can cause some issues in there. So you want it to the center on that. Okay. So now we've got our, our stroke right there. And if I show this, this design again, it's right on the edge. If my cutting was slightly off in alignment or I'm doing a fairly large run so it gets a little off after, after time, if I had a bleed zone, it would hide that, but remember, visually, you're going to see thicker on one side and thinner on the other. So, to add the, the white area around there, I'll go to my object, and then to Path and Offset Path. And when I click on that, it comes up with an Offset Path dialog in here, and I've got a .05. I can click on the preview, and I can see exactly how far that is. Maybe I want it, uh, let's go a little bit longer, .8, and we'll hit Preview again, and that's a decent amount of white there, but a little too much for what I'm looking for. We'll do 0 .65. And again, I, I hit the preview and turn it on and off, and there it is, right there. That looks pretty good to me. So when I hit OK, now I've got two lines in there. If I drop down my layer, I can see I've got two paths and some guides in there. That was the preset from the, the graphic that was sent to me for this example. I just want to grab that one on the inside right here and delete it. So now I have my graphic here. I have a little white outside there. If my white is off by a sixteenth of an inch or even maybe up to a quarter of an inch, people aren't going to notice that as much as the black line right there, which draws their eyes to it. So it kind of hides that effect and gives us a, a, a negative bleed zone, for example. So that's one of the graphics here. And we'll take the second graphic, this guy right here. Same concept on this whole thing. I don't need the bleed on this one. If I had that bleed right there, that was for the black bleed. Let's get rid of that. We'll just throw that in the trash can. And this layer here, all the graphics will bring that and duplicate it. And we'll lock the original layer and we'll turn it off so that you don't see it. And then the first layer right there, close that out, sorry. We'll hit Control A and it, it selected everything in there. I'm again going to weld it. I want no fill, so we'll go to our fill here, and give it no fill. And on the outline, we can make it that cut contour again. But again, if I look and turn this back on so I can see it, it's right at the edge. So same type of steps there. 
We'll go down to Object and Path, offset the path. It kept the last one I had, so we'll hit Preview. That looks good to me again. Hit OK. And then we'll select that inner path right there and delete it. And now we've got this set up. It's got a nice offset of negative space in there so that you don't notice if that one's off slightly. And we've got the good black circle right there. Plus, there's no print on the edge of this, so you're going to eliminate that curl. Um, after you've seen this, you can go out to the different shops and you'll, you'll realize when you look at them in the, the different stores and whatnot, you'll see if they've done a black all the way to the edge that they're not exactly even. And it's, it's hard to find one that's exactly like that. Um, and a lot of them are doing this white space around it, so it kind of hides that little bit there. So that's how I would set it up in here, and hopefully this helps you out, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for stopping by.